suspended from my skills. First dilemma on the pandemic pub tour is fucking Dylan. The office. You know what I mean, Ritz? Are you ready? Fuck, life is coming to take over. So the latest update on the pandemic puck tour. It's my last night here. I'm just packing my bag to set sail on the big pandemic puck tour. Probably my biggest journey in my life yet. We're going from Pucks Palace, Nicaragua, all the way to Pucks Palace, Thailand, with a little bit of a Dubai bender in, in the middle. I said it was a layover, but to be honest, I just wanted to go see the boys and I hadn't done Dubai yet. But the update on our mission is, to get into Thailand, you have to spend three weeks in one of their countries on their list to be able to get in and skip the quarantine. No way I'm doing a quarantine again, especially in Thailand. So to skip that, it's called the Sandbox Scheme. We need to spend three weeks in a country, 21 days in a country on their list, and we can fly straight from that country into Phuket. And Phuket, the whole island of Phuket, is our quarantine. So if we test negative at the hotel on day three, we can run wild around Phuket. And if you know Thailand, you know Phuket, the content and everything, shit, I'm just going to go crazy, I can't wait. It looks like at this stage we're going to be stuck in Dubai for 21 nights and I mean we're going to muster up some fun and hopefully not put me in jail through our social media antics, so yeah, up the park. <laughs> Palace View Legends to come party at. First job done, on to the second. Check if I got my passport. Passport. Nom noms. And that's all I need, eh, Brian? No worries. So, yeah. Don't be a stranger here. Right. My man. Safe travel, bro. Can you take a photo of me and Jeez? One more. On my phone, so well, yeah, we we'll stay in trouble, right. man. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's gonna be impossible. Yeah, yeah. We'll try. <laughs> round two, next Park's Palace, baby. Asia, here I come. <laughs> Costa Rica and Nicaragua. It's only 45 minutes from Pax Palace. See, we just see the trucks are lining up and we just walk across by foot. So it's 45 minutes from the palace and then we've got an hour to Liberia and then maybe a five hour bus and then we'll set up camp for the night and then we fly out in the morning to Miami. This is Byron, he'll be waiting for you. Whenever you come visit me from Costa Rica, he'll be here at the border in our Pax Palace truck. Cold Cerveza. If I'm not here and if I'm in Thailand, Byron will be picking you up. So yeah, Central America is open, Pax Palace is open. It's easy to fly into Costa Rica and then cross by land. Um, but you can fly into Managua, the capital of Nicaragua, but pretty easy just to fly in here to the capital San Jose or Liberia, across the border, and then Pax Palace will pick you up. How good. So usually it's a bit of a journey, you have to go to Liberia from the border. You could either Uber from Liberia to San Jose and it costs you like 200 US when a flight's only about 60. But sometimes you can fluke a bus because there's no one on it and they're just charging us 12 bucks each. That gets us to the capital. Before the travel I've gone through Central and South America, I used to hop on these buses. Um, the longest one I ever did was in Chile. It was uh, 20, 21 hours, no one spoke English, there was one food stop, 21 hours up Chile. But for South America it's the norm. If you're not on a time schedule and you're just travelling um, with no end date, you can lose a day on a bus and it's just a lot cheaper than flying around. We're on a bus here, it's actually quite nice. Some have movies and then some are just absolute um, shit holes. The moral of what I was getting to, we're on a nice bus here, it's only about five hours, five hours from the border to San Jose, the capital. So over and out, tune in the Puck Live Show.
like and subscribe, motherfucker. A few moments later. First dilemma on the pandemic part tour is fucking Dylan, the videographer. <laughs> He's fucked up already. You have to have a QR code to get into the country. And he had his old one from when he came up to the palace last week. And you have to have your travel insurance to match that perfectly, or else they don't let you in. And we're flying out in the morning to Dubai. We had no internet because I'm a Wi Fi whore and I don't have the SIM card, the Caribbean SIM card that would work here in Costa Rica. So I had to run, get the bus driver, hot spot off the bus driver, pulled out his QR code, put his insurance in, got the QR code, ran back, and uh, we've been waiting, holding up about 60 people on this bus. But yeah, so I'm just updating you on Dylan's fucked up already. <laughs> little bit of a hold up on the pandemic pack tour but I'm soldier on anyway pack live show like and subscribe Yeah, yeah, okay. see? yeah. How do you like that, buddy? We're almost there. <laughs> well, we made it. We're safe and sound. That's the main thing. Uh, stop one, San Jose, Costa Rica. En route to Dubai, Miami tomorrow. I lost my glasses. I left them on the bus. It's the ultimate travel sin. I'm supposed to be preaching tour advice to people, and I left my favorite sunnies. On the bus, but uh, we're safe and sound. Let's go have a beer. Round two, baby. Miami, here we come. <laughs> Let's get it done. We just had to run out an hour before our flight and we just got the news, negative. I mean, I've just been running around on a pandemic puck tour around the world for the last year. No masks, nothing. And look at me, you guys are all locked in your countries watching me from lockdown. And I'm just traveling to Dubai to have a holiday and play golf and do birds and just live the puck dream. Turn into a puck live show, you won't regret it. But man, everyone needs to catch up around the world. New Zealand and Australia, you guys are struggling. I love you, but look at me. Hey, I keep saying it, it's the puck takeover, it's my year. Look, I've got two rows even. 
Dylan, my videographer's got a road to himself. We've got a 14 hour flight. There's nothing stopping us now. The puck takeover is real. I'm just gonna drop my sleeping pills and wake up in the United Emirates and balls deep in some beautiful water. This airline, we had Magdalena from Poland just taking absolute care of me. Puck, I got fed before anyone on the plane. Dylan was angry about that. I got fed before the vegans. <laughs> the the, 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 the vegans, the vegetarian. Can't fault that. Got a, got a number. Hopefully, we're gonna link up with Dubai. Puck life, baby. We're on an adventure. We're landed in the Middle East. Puck is here. Now we're just gonna make our next flight. <laughs> huh? My legs are cramping. <laughs> so we're just boarding our flight from Doha to Dubai. I've always been dreaming of going here. Just trying not to get myself into any trouble. I'm out of my depth. And that's where I love to be. So let's see what they're doing. We're about to land. Game time, show time. Pack takeover is here. I don't know if I want to buy ground yet, but we're there. <laughs> we just jumped off our last plane. The pandemic pack tour, almost a success so far. We've got to clear the last customs, and then we're here to party. Could say we're on here, lads. Let's get the gun. Just going to get our rapid COVID test on arrival in Dubai. We just tested in Miami, so unless we caught COVID or chlamydia on the flight. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I'm clean. You see that? Straight off the flight from Dubai, straight in to get tested once again. Here we go. Time to wreak havoc. One of the easiest airports, uh, custom-wise, that I've ever experienced. COVID test, straight off the plane, straight through customs. Easy as that, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, America, Qatar, now we're in Dubai. And we're staying at the Five Palms, I've heard it's good. Let's go. How are you going? I'm um, good, Mr. Mullins. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. We just checked in. Um, we'd love to get two espresso martinis brought up to the room if that's possible. Yeah, of course, of course. Two yep. espresso martinis. Yes. Oh, yeah. make, make, that, make that four espresso martinis. Okay, so total four. Yeah, so we're getting right. excited. No it's our worries, first no night. <laughs> now, Barry, this is love. Well, come. A long way around the world to get this. This is my dream. This hotel, this view, and an espresso martini between me and my boy Dylan. Oh man, that is job complete. We're here, We've made it. Stage one of the pandemic puck tour is 